Hey guys, this is part two of my boat build. Today, we're going to be doing a process called stitch and glue. For anyone who isn't familiar with it, the process is used to stitch the hole together with string, wire, or zip ties, and then you glue the seams permanently with some form of adhesive. Most builders use a two-part epoxy for this, and that works absolutely fine but it's a bit cost prohibitive for makers on a budget, and not the safest adhesive to work with. So we're gonna be doing something a little different that I've done on two boats already and is working great. But first, we need to do the stitching. Here I've drilled two small holes for my mechanics wire to go through, which is the first stitch of this hole. This is to keep the chine on the bottom, so I'm just going to work down this side of the boat to do some more stitching. There's no specific way that I do this, I just eyeball it and drill, then stitch. There's no limit to how many you can do, and you definitely can't do too many, but you can do too few. So just be generous with your stitching and you'll be fine. Any extra stitches are a little more work later, but it ensures you have a good, tight fit. I'm just going to speed up some of the process of me installing this chine. That way you can see a bit more of it before we move on. Now that this chine is installed, I typically focus on the transom and then the stem. Attaching these goes the same way as before, but we will also have to attach them to the chine. I also noticed that the bottom of the boat was a bit too long. I guess I added an inch or two onto the bottom when I was sectioning it out during the layout phase. That's okay, we can cut it off later. And it's pretty much the same as before. Like I said, we're just going to drill some holes and stitch it together. Now, we are attaching it to the chine as well, so I'm using a couple of holes on each corner just to make sure that there's a good fit up and down as well as with the bottom. Now we're going to work on the second bit of this method, the gluing. For this, I'm doing something a bit unorthodox, since most people would use epoxy. 
I'm going to be using Tight Bond 3. It's a waterproof PVA glue, and while it does soften a lot in water, this won't be what is sealing the boat, and there will be multiple layers of paint over the glue as well. The process is pretty simple here, just apply it to the seams with a brush. Be liberal, it's going to take several coats, and I'll probably end up doing five full coats on the seams myself, with several hours in between to let it dry. At this point, I'm noticing all of the gaps and space in the hull and chine connections, but none of this bothers me too much. Most of this will be filled with sealer later on, and this is just to hold the pieces together before that sealer is applied. Here, I'm moving up to the stem and gluing this area. This is pretty much how the entire process goes, though. You're going to glue the seams front to back several times over, so you'll probably be tired of it before all of this is said and done. When you're done, you should have seams that look like this. Not perfect, but adhered. That's what's important. In the next part, we're going to attach some decks to this boat, as well as create the hole for the mast. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. If you had suggestions, leave them in the comments, and subscribe if you want to follow along.